Hey everybody, this is Jeffrey Jansen. I am actually recording a video real quick. Um, it is around 5.15 right now where I am at Central Standard Time. Um, I just wanted to say hey to everybody before the voting, the polling booths close. Um, to make sure you all get out your vote. And to let you know that voting is very important and you do need to get out to vote. Um, all those men and women in uniform and everything, you know, they are on the front lines for one of the biggest rights that we have. And that is, you know, we can go to the polls and we can vote for our candidate. Um, it doesn't matter who you're voting for. As long as you are convicted behind what you do, if you have conviction behind what you do. In other words, vote with what you know and vote how you feel. Vote on the facts. You know, don't vote down party lines. It doesn't matter which way somebody stands. Don't vote because that's what your family voted for. Don't vote. So what you need to do is you need to learn to become yourself. You know, all these things I always tell everybody, how to set goals, be a better person, you know, build yourself from the inside out. You know, use your head before you use your muscle. You know, it goes into the world of voting also. You know, I mean, I understand that you hear all the negatives about both candidates. You hear all, everybody, go, but here's the facts. You have your own opinion, and you need to go off your gut feeling on what you want to do. Some of you, if you can't figure it out, pray on it. But make up your mind. Be your own person. Don't go off of what other people say. I even try to tell my daughter that, even though she's nine years old and everything else, I like her to come up with her own opinion, her own mind on it, you know, because in this particular race, you know, you can sit there and call candidates, but they're both the same when it comes to their personal lives. Think about it. They, you know, if it comes towards women, both of them have a, had a war on women. Both of them had a war on jobs. Both of them have had a lot of falling out. So there's a lot of negatives there, but both of them are like dead equal on, you know, you can sit there and argue either way. But the fact is, you're both wrong and you're both right whenever you do it. So you got to vote the way you want to vote. you got to vote for who you like. And let me tell you this. I'm proud of you for going to the polling booth and voting. Okay? It's your right to be able to vote. China doesn't get to vote. Russia doesn't get to vote. Majority, almost, we're the only country like us in the world. And we actually have a voting system. And no matter how many people say it's unfair, it's illegal, oh, the Electoral College this, Electoral College that, look, this is your God-given right to go vote, okay? All those men and women that have died year after year in every single war and battle, the biggest thing is, here's just it. We get to vote. We, the people. We, the people, not we, the military, not we, the civilians, it's we, the people, unite today to cast our private ballots for the candidate we feel could run this country the proper way. We, the people. That's all I want to tell you tonight, is we, the people. Now, I'll have... Uh, daily reflections later, and tonight I will have goal setting, okay? And just know this, no matter what the results are at the end of the day, we, the people, need to come together and do better by each other. We need to be nicer to each other. We need to like and get along. We need to be humble. We need to understand the beginnings we came from. You know, there's a part of history nobody ever talks about. Everybody's it's like, it's America this, America that. Did you know, during the American Revolution, when we were fighting the British and everything else, did you know there were two main countries that helped us even before we started fighting the British? Spain and France. They have been by our side. They fought in our wars. Now, just because you don't hear about them, don't mean that they were there before and they were there after. Okay. Now, of course, we are, we're friends and allied with Britain, and they're some of our best allies. But don't always forget, you know, American history, just because you didn't hear about it in school doesn't mean it didn't happen. We couldn't have fought and won our freedom if it was not for Spain and if it was not for France. Now, do you see a lot of Spanish or French people? No. Now, we have helped. If you think about Vietnam, the French got kicked out of Vietnam and Americans went in. You know... Spain and France have been our allies for a very long time. And so Britain is one of our allies. 
But remember this, we are Americans through and through. And we come from every walk of life. We come from every country of the world. Our country is great because of our unity and our equality. It doesn't matter if you're male or female, gay or straight. It doesn't matter what religion you are. What matters is we all are Americans. And we all need to respect and be kind to each other because that's where our greatness comes, is from each other. If, you know what I'm saying, is divided we fall. Together we stand, divided we fall. Okay? Abraham Lincoln, when he, you know, was doing this, you know, he knew that the country was going to go into turmoil. He knew he had to unite a country that, you know, slavery, non-slavery, you know, south against north. And it was not a pretty picture for anybody on any side. History is made by we the people. And we must hold our founding fathers. We must hold those that we entrust with our country accountable for everything they do. And I am proud to be an American. I'm even more proud that the Americans around me come from every walk of life and every culture of life. I am proud to have served with some of the finest men in the world. I am proud to be associated with some of the greatest men and women from other branches of other services. And I would have it no other way. And I want to make sure that that same respect is befallen upon my daughter for when she gets older. That she has those same rights. She, she has the same freedoms. And she has even more opportunity than what we have today. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. If you haven't gotten out to vote, get out and vote. I thank the world of each and every one of you.